This is Carissa Enright. This is the continuation of a series of videos that will cover the medication categories most commonly used in psychiatry. There are four general classes of medications in the antidepressant category. I will cover them from the oldest to the youngest. In general, each new drug improved on the ones before them, and in many cases, the older drug became obsolete. In fact, there was a time when this first class, the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, was so rarely used that I thought we could drop it from our curricula. However, many healthcare providers have returned to these medications for patients who don't respond to the newer ones. As a class, the antidepressants are 80% effective overall. This means that two out of every 10 people who need an antidepressant do not get mood elevation on any particular medication. Treatment-resistant depression may take months to clear while the patient is tried on different meds and combinations. Like lithium, the MAOI medications started life as medications for another indication, tuberculosis. It was not effective against the infection, but physicians noticed that depressed patients experienced an improved mood by increasing the amount of serotonin in the brain. The sound bite for MAOI is diet and hypertension. This describes the potentially fatal interaction of these meds with a diet high in tyramine. More on that later. You will not be required to know the mechanism of action for any of the psychotropic medications, but I think it is helpful. Therefore, allow me to take a minute to explain. The neurotransmitter, serotonin, is manufactured in the neurons. When stimulated, this neuron excretes serotonin into the synaptic cleft where it binds to receptors on the receiving neuron. This stimulates that nerve to fire and pass the message on. Afterwards, some of the neurotransmitter goes back to the original neuron, an action named reuptake. Some of the serotonin stays in the cleft to potentiate further transactions and some are dissolved into inactive components by the enzyme monoamine oxidase. The action of the MAO group of drugs is to inhibit or stop this enzyme from breaking down serotonin. The end result is more free serotonin in the synaptic cleft. But this MAO enzyme is active in other parts of the body. When it is inhibited, other molecules are not broken down and are allowed to accumulate, causing high blood pressure. Specifically, MAO breaks tyramine, a component of some foods, into a benign substance. Too much tyramine is a problem because it becomes a substance similar to epinephrine that will cause the blood pressure to increase to dangerous levels. The only way to prevent this dangerous buildup of tyramine is to prescribe a diet low in this amine. NCLEX and nursing exams are sure to have at least one question that will test your understanding of a low tyramine diet. There are a few things like banana skins that are not included in this list of high tyramine foods, but you're not tested on those esoteric things. Instead, you will want to remember that tyramine develops over time in all foods that are aged for flavor or long-term storage. For centuries before refrigeration, all foods had to be eaten immediately or preserved through pickling, salting, smoking, or just natural fermentation. Thus, all deli meats, sausages, hams, and whatever else you can see here, are all high in tyramine, as are all hard cheeses. Pickles, olives, even soy sauce, which is made from rotted soybeans, are also on that list. Alcohol is aged and has varying degrees of tyramine. 
Therefore, on your exams, regard all of these foods as forbidden. It is helpful to understand that food generally regarded as Italian, Asian, or Chinese by default include many of these forbidden foods. As an aside, I will include these cautions, especially those of you whose first language is not English. Be very careful with any foods that have cheese in the name. Milk products that are not hard cheese do not contain tyramine. That means that cream cheese, cottage cheese, ricotta cheese, and cheesecake are not on the list. Including one of these is a wrong answer on a test question. Remember that this is an antidepressant. Almost all people suffering with depression find themselves wondering if they would be better off dead. If a patient is suicidal, these medications can provide them with a sure way to die of stroke or heart attack. Suicide assessment is a must on all nursing care plans for the MAOIs. These are the notes provided in your course on these medications. All this information has the potential of being tested on your next exam.